guys, welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. I wanted to do a quick unboxing and review on this deck, and I, I think it's called the Botticelli um, Golden um, Golden Deck uh, by Atanas Alexandrov or Atanas Alexandrov Antonosov. I hope I pronounced it right. But I saw Venus on here, and I was like, <gasps> Venus, <laughs> I have to have it, you know. So. Uh, I, I wanted to see what's up and I love art and I love Venus. So I want to, I want to get to it. I said, why not? Let's, let's do, let's try this deck out. I'm trying to open this deck. I might get a little rough with this deck. No. Oh yeah. This one's a tough one to open you guys. And I'm not the most gentle. If you've seen my unboxings before. I'm like really rough. There we go. All righty. It's somewhat open. Just when I thought it was open, it wasn't. Okay. So, let's see. So, it's like in those old school boxes, like the Rider weight is usually in. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous, right? Okay. I was like, where's the book? Books in here. I gotta go through another layer of plastic. You guys know how I hate these plastic wrappers. Uh, yikes, yikes. Okay. I'm like a kid on Christmas. Open it, open it, open it. All right. So it has like you know a simple basic book. Nothing too elaborate. I can tell you that right now. I know. I know these little books. So looks like that. All right. It has a spread, so that's kind of cool, all right? Um, yeah, and it has their meanings in it. You know, it's very simple, no pictures, very small writing. So for those who need glasses, just giving you a heads up. I, I do want to mention, though, if you are someone who um, wears glasses and you like for the text to be very big, I would recommend the Ethereal Visions um, Tarot deck by Matt Hughes. I love that deck because I don't have to squint. I don't have to put on my glasses. It's just easy, all right? So I would recommend that as a side note. But it has this beautiful card at the back of the deck. Little bonus card. So let's get to it. Here's the full. All right? So this is an interesting depiction of the full. It has some golden, like, specks to it. I love that. I like golden touch. You have the magician card. Yeah, so for any of you that like, hist like art history, like art, I think you're going to like this deck. Okay, the High Priestess, beautiful. We have the Empress here. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Beautiful. These are beautiful cards. The Lovers. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I would say for this deck already, if, if you're not one who uses tarot a lot, this could just be a collector's item. I'm really getting that this alone. I mean, as I'm pulling these cards, I'm like, okay, what, what reading am I going to use this in? I'm like, wow, this is kind of like a collector's item. Like, you don't even have to really use these too much. They're just nice to have. All right, the chariot. I mean, unless you're giving a reading to someone that you know loves art. They would love these cards. We have Justice. Beautiful. We have the Hermit. Okay. We have the Wheel. It's a beautiful one. We have the Strength card. Okay. The hangman. The death card. Temperance. <laughs> the devil card. It's like a baby devil. Devil card. We have the tower. It's a powerful tower card. We have the stars. 
This one's called the stars. Not just the star card, but the stars. It's beautiful. We have the moon card. Kind of an interesting depiction of the moon card. We have the sun. Look at that. My light is even like reflecting off of it. You can't even see the sun. It's so shiny. We have the judgment card. Now this is a deep judgment card. Yes, and my girl, she is the world card, Venus. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I love that. Mm. We have the Ace of Chalices. Two of Chalices. It's beautiful. Three of Chalices. It's an interesting one. The Four of Chalices, Five of Chalices, Six of Chalices, Seven of Chalices, Eight of Chalices, Nine of Chalices, And the Ten of Chalices. Beautiful. Knave of Chalices. Knight of Chalices. Queen of Chalices. King of Chalices. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? You have the Knave of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, looks like she's dancing. We have the Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands. Seven of Wands, interesting. Eight of Wands, I love this Eight of Wands. Probably my, now my favorite Eight of Wands. Okay, one of my favorites, one of my favorites. We have the Nine of Wands. Look at the peacock. We have the Ten of Wands. Knave of Wands. Knight of Wands. That's a great depiction of the Knight of Wands. In action. The Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Ace of Swords. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. The Two of Swords. They're fighting. Three of Swords, look at her dragging him. Like, I know you did not just do what I thought you did. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. 
That's an interesting six of swords. Seven of swords. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. Ten of swords. Knave of swords. Knight of swords. Queen of swords. And the king of swords. All right. So this is that deck for you. It's very beautiful. Um, I like that there's a lot of uh, art with, you know, women and their, their children. I don't know why. I just, I like that. I like the motherly um, essence of, of that. It's an interesting deck. I, I feel like it's definitely something worth having, especially if you like art. So once again, it's beautiful. It's actually thicker than some of my original tarot decks that come in boxes like this. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's a good quality. Um, very nice. Very nice deck. Like I said, this is like something that, you know, maybe uh, someone, you know, like I said, I keep saying it over and over. Someone who specifically likes art history would love this. I mean, I mean, just you like tarot, you like art put these two together. It's, it's amazing. Okay. I, I like this deck. I think it's really nice. Like I said, this doesn't even have to be a deck that you use. This could be just a, like a collector's, um, a collector's item because this is just, it's unique. It's really unique. And I hope they create more, um, artsy decks like this, you know, with old art. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, let me see. I'm going to, Ring the bell over them and shuffle them real quick. Let's see. I'm going to pull maybe three for you guys. See what you guys need to know. Let's see. Whoa. Well, that's two. Should we take them? You guys have the seven of chalices. And I like the seven of chalices because it has an angel. See that? There's an angel here for her. And then we have the knave of pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there's an angel trying to get you to choose, okay? You have all these options. You might be afraid to choose the wrong one, right? Because it can be a little tricky. You don't know what's in what cup, right? Cause especially because these cups are in the tree. She's like, I don't know which one to pick. Right? But the angel's guiding her. The angel's saying, look, you have options, and I'm going to help you to choose what to, you know, which cup to, you know, pick. And I feel like they're offering you some type of, like, pentacle, like, some type of gift. It could be money. It could be, you know, an opportunity. They're trying to see that you have options. They're, they're helping you. Like, don't give up now. Three of wands, right? Waiting, okay? I'm here watch and wait, watch and wait, waiting, right? She's waiting for something to come in, like waiting for an arrival. Maybe waiting for an arrival of this offer, right? You see how this person's coming through like, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm coming over to you. I'm walking over to you with this offer. And she's waiting here like, okay, I'm just, I'll just wait right here until you get here. We have the eight of pentacles, which is working, building on, on something. Could be building your money, building on a project, working on a project, right? Working towards something. I know I said I was going to pick three. I'm going to end up picking more. Clarify the seven of chalices. Well, that's a lot. That's way too many. Let's let's get one card, angels. One card, please, angels. To clarify the seven of cups. Why is that here? That's two. Can I get one? Thank you. We have the queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. Doesn't have to, though. Communication, clarity. Also speaking up for yourself, you know, deciding. Okay. Queen of swords is witty, but she's also decisive. All right. Now we have the world card. Right. So this offer coming through. It, there's like a cycle ending and beginning in your life. It could be travel. You could get um, an opportunity to travel or just an opportunity that's going to help you to move out of an old cycle and into a new one. Now you have the moon card, right? This talks about the unknown. So I feel like this three of wands here, this girl, this woman, whomever this is, is waiting. You know, she doesn't know what's happening. This is the unknown. Things are unclear to her. She's, you know, didn't know which, which cup to choose. But, I, but her angels are guiding her. They're helping her, you know, through the unknown. And now you have the seven of pentacles, okay? 
And that's looking at all your hard work, you know? Look at this woman. She's looking at everything they've planted, right? And even this little baby is helping her. So that's great. So this is like abundance and prosperity. I feel like you guys are working on your abundance and prosperity. You have the seven of pentacles and you have the eight of pentacles right underneath each other. That's progress. Growing. Now you guys have the chariot trying to come through. Um, I put it back up because there's too many cards coming out with it, but... Yeah, moving forward, receiving clarity, speaking up for yourself, receiving the truth, the ace of swords, right? Communication from higher realms, communication from your angels and ancestors saying that you have, you know, different opportunities coming towards you. You have the seven of wands, right? This tells me that you guys are guarded, but you guys are fighting for something, okay? I feel like you guys are, are being strong. I'm getting more of like a resilient energy, like I'm willing to fight for you know, my new beginning. I'm willing to fight for what I deserve. I, like, I'm not just going to settle here. I'm not going to quit when times look tough. You know, I'm hearing even when I make mistakes, I'm going to keep moving forward because I'm human. I'm supposed to make these mistakes. They're a part of my life path, right? Now you have the Knave of Chalices, right? Which is the Page of Cups. And this energy is very youthful, very playful. There could be some inner child healing that needs to take place. But there's this is an offer, once again, a youthful offer. You have the Knave of Pentacles. You have the Knave, the knave of Chalices, so two offers coming in, they might be small, but one, one is something, you know, you can touch something like money or a gift and the other is like emotion, feeling, love, some type of, you know, you guys have offers coming for, to you in two different directions. All right. Um, I feel like you guys know this. So the seven of cups where you were only supposed to choose one, I feel like you guys are choosing two, two cups, one with love and one with um, money or a gift. Now you guys have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Sorry, you can hear my dogs in the background. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. Yeah, you guys are working with the Seven of, of Pentacles, you know, looking at your hard work and building, um, you know, like looking at what you've built already. And the Ace of Wands wanting a new beginning, a new project, being receptive. I'm hearing being receptive. You guys are deciding to work on something, maybe working on something new, right? You guys are finding the strength to move forward, all right? Your angels are saying tap into your to that inner lion, you know, have be strong. Know that you are resilient. Two of wands moving forward, right? Deciding to move forward. Dancing with life is what I'm hearing. Dancing with life. Eight of chalices moving away to something better. Okay? Moving away to something better. You guys are traveling forward. Something may have been okay, that's decent, that's good, but I deserve better. Knowing your worth, not settling, deciding to move on to something even greater. A greater opportunity is what I'm hearing. Right. The magician. You guys are manifesting. You guys are standing in your power and deciding, you know what? I have the power to manifest whatever I want. So I'm going to step into my magician energy and I'm going to manifest something better for myself. So you guys aren't settling. I love that energy. What else? What happens as a magician? You guys have the high priestess. Gorgeous. Okay. So you guys, all right. You guys are juggling right now with the two of pinnacles, okay? And that's that's totally all right. You guys might be juggling the 5D and the 3D, you know, spirituality, you know, everyday matrix stuff. But you guys are going to be tapping into your power very, very soon, all right? If not, if you haven't already, you know? But I'm getting, you guys need to tap into your spirituality more. It's going to help you with your, your prosperity. It's going to help you with your money, I'm hearing. This is going to help you with your emotions, Tapping in and getting to know, you know, who you are spiritually, who your soul is, all right? Tapping into that power, that inner strength that you have, that inner power that you have, okay? Um, you guys have the power to manifest a lot of things. This is magic. When I see the high priestess and the magician, I think of magic. So I have to, you know, say some people are into, you know, um, law of attraction, alchemy, and some people are witches. Some people, you know, like to manifest things, you know. It just depends, you know, you could... You know, some people are shamans, some people are healers, some people are mystics. You know, it's just whatever name term you want to throw on it. Some of you guys are healers. Whatever you want to throw on it, you guys have the power to create and bring things to life, okay? You guys have spiritual knowledge and wisdom. And you guys have the power to really bring the things that you want into life. So you guys really want to watch your words, what you say, you know, pay attention to how you feel and what happens and the things that you manifest when, you know, when you're feeling a certain type of way because you guys have a lot of skills coming through and a lot of power, all right? So tap into that magician or high priestess energy, a lot of spiritual wisdom coming through, a lot of knowledge coming through from your angels and ancestors. Notice there was an angel in the beginning of the reading and they're leading you to this like level up spiritually. You guys are going to be leveling up spiritually. And when you level up spiritually, your vibration changes. And I feel that 
when that happens, this is going to create some type of like new beginning for you and your, your finances are going to grow. You know, different things are going to change and grow in your life because you've tapped into yourself more spiritually. And this is why the world card is here. That's why you have this here because there's something significant that's going to happen that's going to change and it's going to, you know, I, I feel that significant change is you tapping in and connecting with your angels and ancestors and you learning that spiritual knowledge. It could be a, a vision. It could be a dream. Sorry, one of my dogs wants to be a part of this reading. So I just feel like you guys are having like a, a renewal, you know, spiritually, learning more. You see how he has his book? You guys are learning some things about your soul, all right? And maybe your angels are giving you messages about who you truly are, helping you to remember who you are, all right? But you are the high priestess and you are the magician. Work with Labradorite and Moonstone, I'm hearing, okay? Know that things are going to get better. Things are changing for the better. You are changing for the better, all right? And that's what I have for you guys. Please feel free to leave a comment, you know, um, like, share, review, uh, you know, not a review. Well, maybe you want to review this, you can, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right. Love you guys. Have a good one.